When I was younger, I used to just do kick-ups with a ball. And then when I was probably, I was 17, I entered a competition in Manchester and I got to the last 16. But the main inspiration was a guy called Mr. Wu, who was the, at that time the current world champion for football freestyle. What he was doing with the ball was just unbelievable. And I just went home that night and I just practiced all the time until I could do what he could do. And then I just wanted to take it on step by step to another level. From as long as he could walk, he was kicking a ball. Um, and even before he started playing football properly, he had a ball at his feet. And really, I think it's just been part of him, like his right arm. All you'd hear was... <laughs> One day, um, I thought, how can he just stop? How can he stop him for a minute, just have a break? So I hid all his balls. So when he came home from work, he was like, mm. couldn't find them anywhere. Next thing in his bedroom, I had do -do, do -do, do -do. and he'd rolled up some socks. I had played for Preston at one point, but even though the coaches recognised my skills, because of my height and my size and my physical strength was maybe two, three years below the other players, I was left behind. I remember being at college and I remember one specific moment in my life where I got on the bus and I hadn't played all game and I was just so frustrated and I thought to myself, I don't want to carry on with this, this is rubbish. But then when I got home I thought, well, like, it ain't killed me so it's going to make me stronger. I realised that my, what I actually wanted to achieve was to create things with a ball that nobody had ever seen before. Someone I really look up to called Simon Clifford, he said, come over to Leeds, I want to talk to you about what you want to achieve. And, you know, and I said, I want to be a football freestyler. And he said to me, he said, you can't do it. He said, it's pointless. People have seen it already. Like, if you do it, you've got to be the best in the world. Um, and I said, I want to do it. And then after that, I just went and I practiced even more. I just did everything I could just to prove him wrong. Um, and he's said that I've proved him wrong already. I had to do more stuff, I had to train more, I had to get up hours earlier than anybody else. I realised that, like, I used to listen to clips of people like Bruce Lee and Muhammad Ali, people who mastered their art completely, and I wanted to be like them because they mastered it and they've left a legacy. This is where I practice, I do like probably 90% of my practice. And I train here every day and all day, every opportunity I get. It's all worn down where I've been stood and I've been sat and I've been just trying all my, my moves and my routines. I want to push the boundaries of freestyle and what can be physically done. So I almost make the impossible seem possible and done well. But along that way, I want to inspire people. Um, and it doesn't mean I want to inspire them to do freestyle. I want them to, to inspire them in life so they can achieve their goals. It's a skill that can be learned and everybody can relate to it in everyday life. And it promotes healthy living, so obviously I want to help inspire kids. All, all my heroes have sort of had the struggles and they've almost had to fight for it. So if I can get that across and inspire people through that, no matter what, you can always achieve stuff. Any child can do what John does. If they've got that determination and they put the practice in, anything that's just a little bit out of the ordinary, they'll say it won't work, it won't happen, and as parents you should be responsible in um, advising your children to do this, that and the other. And there's nothing wrong with doing this, that and the other, but there's also nothing wrong with proving he's, hard, he's got the hard work and determination to do what he wants to do. I just want people to know me for entertaining the whole world with a football. <laughs> I just want people to remember me for that. Um, but along the way, I want to inspire people. Um, and if I could do that, then I'll feel I've achieved something in my life.